We're about to begin the fight of the night tonight. <clears throat> Casey O'Neill versus Jennifer Maya. Both of these women ugly in the face. Good look. Uh, well, not in not in Jennifer Maya's face, but either way, here we are in the fight. Jennifer Maya versus Casey O'Neill. And O'Neill is pressuring forwards early. 449, 448, 447, 446, 445. Good shot from Jennifer Maya and Casey O'Neill throws to kick the speed of a slug. Right hand from Jennifer Maya and she lands a few more shots again. If Casey O'Neill did not have a decent looking shaped ass, she would be a two out of 10. We tune in live to Casey O'Neill in the middle of the fight with her headpiece tonight. What do you think, Casey O'Neill? You don't know how hard it is to land my job? Thank you for the update in the middle of the fight, Casey O'Neill. Jennifer Maya lands a stiff jab on that beak of a nose. And a more big shots of combos from Jennifer Maya. Casey O'Neill throwing shots. At the speed of my grandmother, who is dead in a grave, pressuring forward tonight. We go to guest commentator Patty Pimlet to tell us what he thinks about this fight tonight. Patty Pimlet, what do you got? Yeah, mate, it's fine, lads. She's not going to do enough, lads. She needs to fucking rush him with a chin up in the air, mate. She's not doing what she needs to do, lads. Just fucking lose a fight and get given it by the judges, mate. It's how it goes, mate. It's fine. Back to you, John. Thank you, Patty Pimlet. Both girls trading in the pocket early on. Did I say early on or Leon Edwards? Good shots from Jennifer Maya with a knee to the body and a right hand upstairs. Based impressions. Thank you. More shots from both. The fight is getting scrappy here early. Good job by Jennifer Maya to move out of the way of most of those shots. We have Tom Aspinall cage side making his commentary debut. Why do you think Tom Aspinall? You know what it is about being from Scotland and Australia? I don't think she wants to be some kind of hype train who's going to win fights coming from Scotland. I think what she needs to do is get her nose broken so she can pay for a surgery for free. Because that thing is fucking hideous. Back to you, John. Thank you, Tommy boy. 2 minutes 11, 2 minutes 10, and 2.09. Jennifer Maya getting the better of Casey O'Neill on the feet here early. Why do you think about it? Leon Edwards. That's nine shots in a row. Casey O'Neill's got to stop leading with her nose. Thank you, Leon Edwards, as Jennifer Maya lands another jab to the face. Casey O'Neill not having it her way on the feet early on. Early is a very difficult word to say in an American accent. Good jab from Jennifer Maya, moving out the way of the counter shots from Casey O'Neill. She grabs the inside kick, looks to take down Casey O'Neill, but can't quite do it. Ends up against the cage, and they separate. Big right hand from Jennifer Maya again. <laughs> After a big win earlier on the prelims, what do you think about this fight, Jake Hadley? I don't think Casey O'Neill's got what it takes to be a top-level UFC women's flyweight. She needs to put more into her shots to win the fight. Did I mention, when I grow up, I want to be a UFC fighter? Great knee from, Lauren, from Maya, whatever this fucking ugly thing is. MMA guru tuned in at the end of that sentence there for some reason. We're back to John Anik. And we're going to do the rest of this fight in the commentary of the MMA guru. And we're never going to go back to any other fighters on the roster. Good shots from Jennifer Maya. I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. 
Could we get one final word from Molly McCann at the end of this round? Well, in line, how's it going, mates? Or did somebody take her away from the commentary booth and put her down in the car park outside? She is a monster. Anyway. <laughs> My bad. Round two. Round one, Maya. Good round from Maya. 1-0, I think, yeah. <laughs> A little bit loud, sorry. Come here. It's there. It's there. Come here. Come here. It's there. Thank you for the $2. Throw in an Amanda Ribas laugh. Yeah. Thank you for the $2, dude. You got to make this for you. I'm not you now. Back into it in round two. Will Casey O'Neill pick it up after a tough first round? We tune in with our... Recently cut from the UFC, Darren Till, to give us his thoughts on the fight so far. Darren Till, what do you think about these UFC fighters whilst you are not one yourself? Yeah, mate, it's fine, mate. You know what, actually, mate? I asked to be released, mate. I wanted to be cut. Why won't anyone believe me, mate? I wanted to be cut, mate. I chose it, mate. They were going to keep me on and give me a title shot, mate, and I wanted to go. No one's fucking believing me, mate. It's fucking sad, mate. And me ACL's fucking done, mate. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry, mate. I'm fucking bad. We take away Darren Till for a bit of tender loving care as Casey O'Neill lands a right hand. I hope it was hilarious. I'll clear that. Thank you. Um, good shots from O'Neill again. But Maya still swinging back with vengeance. With the anger of a lesbian, she lands with these vicious punches tonight. Good shot from Meyer at the end of that combination. We go to Joe Rogan to tell us his thoughts on the fight so far. Unbelievable. Thank you, Joe Rogan. That's all you say. Thank you for your input tonight. Earning your $1 million show money to be at this event. Thank God we pay you that much money and don't pay our fighters enough. Maya consistently winning these exchanges on Casey O'Neill. And Casey O'Neill is shit. I'm burping up weird stomach juices because I'm fasting and I haven't eaten yet today. People thought the crowd was cheering for women's MMA, but it's actually for Colby. Nice. That's good. Thank you for the $5 being supreme. Darren Silby is Jamaican. No, let's not mix up too much. What does Romero think of the action? And what do we have here? Yoel Romero took a flight over from Cuba. What does he think about the fight so far? Hey, Donna! Hey! Yo Yoel Romero, we're, we're trying to get your attention on the commentary. Hey! Hey, Donna! You talk to me! Uh, Yoel Romero is distracted whilst still being connected to the headset. To hey, you want to talk to me? No. Go for Jesus. Thank you. We finally get Romero off of the line and back to the commentary tonight. Jennifer Maya lands a few good shots on the inside. Instead, we have guest commentator Sean Strickland, training partner of Casey O'Neill, to tell us what he thinks about this contest. This fucking guy, dude. Anyway, dude. These fucking women, dude. Talk about a fucking ball ache, dude. Should be making a fucking sandwich for me right now, man. Anyway, dude. Anyway, I was talking to fucking Chris Curtis, this fucking libtard, dude. Anyway, dude. What's fucking going on, dude? We go back to the action tonight. We tune in to guest commentator Kel Brook. Hi, Kel Brook. Hope she needs to go in and get a timing down. Hopefully, Casey O'Neill finds the timing for a right hand. 
And, oh, she'll land it so good if she does. Oh, there's a good one from her there, but she gets caught with a couple good punches from Maya. Thank you, Kelbrook, you retarded sounding man. What an unfortunate voice God has given you. And Ghani, what do you think? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm going to get paid money. Thank you, Francis and Ganu. Any other comments from you? I am retarded. Good shots from Meyer on the break. Thank you for the $5, Jack on Crack. I appreciate the $5, dude. Oink, oink. What an incredible chunk indeed. We're back on commentary tonight with the official team. Good shots from Jennifer Meyer again. And we now tune in to recently still alive David Attenborough who will be dying soon. So we wanted to give him this one last chance to commentate on what he thinks he's seeing in the middle of this fight tonight. David Attenborough. Here we have the death of MMA live in front of our eyes. Women's MMA is a plague upon the sport. Truly carnivorous in its nature, a destructive part and a necessary evil. Amen. Thank you, David Attenborough, tonight. Thank you for the $5. I have bouncy balls. Dover stealing packages out of Knight's Amazon van impression. Not right now, dude. You know what I mean? I'm taking your packages, man. What do you want from me on that? Thank you for the $5, dude, you idiot. Thank you for the five, nine New Zealand dollars. Can't stop laughing. Someone paid $100 for me to do this, so I thought I'd do it. Thank you for the nine New Zealand dollars, Jordan Ryburn. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you for the $5, Sean. Till impression would be so funny if any time anyone asks him any questions about anything, the only thing he talks about is the ACL's torn. Yeah, that is the impression of Till that I do. Every time it descends into um, his ACL being torn. Thank you for the membership computer. I appreciate you. Impression of Sean Strickland smoking with O'Malley. This fucking guy, dude, he's smoking, dude. What the fuck do you want? Do a Vulcan compression. Shut up. Thank you for keeping me awake during this fight. No problem, dude. We're back live in round three. This one could be to take it all if Jennifer Meyer has not done enough yet already. Jennifer Meyer, a minus 500 favorite and lands another big combo on Casey O'Neill's stupid ugly face tonight. We tune in live again to Casey O'Neill, live in the middle of the fight with her headpiece to tell us what she thinks about the contest so far. Casey, are you there? You don't know how hard it is to win a fight. I'm trying my best out here. Somebody please get me Guru. I can't win it on me own. Thank you, Casey O'Neill. We are sorry to everyone at home who had to listen to that absolute gobbledygook. Stipe Miocic, what do you think about this fight right now as Jennifer Maya has Casey O'Neill up against the cage? John Jones. Thank you very much, Stipe Miocic. Good shots again from Jennifer Meyer on the inside. Thank you for the $2. What does Johnny... The, no, we're not doing Johnny the Greek. It's too much of a vocal change. It'll ruin my voice for the rest of the impressions. I'm sorry tonight. I can't think of any more impressions. <laughs> what do you think about this fight, Gollum? What does Gollum think? Sorry. Stupid fat woman. Thank you for the $1 Matt Trinigal. I appreciate you. Good shots from Jennifer Meyer on the inside again. Casey O'Neill keeping an everlasting pressure. We tune in with Nate Diaz to see what he thinks about this contest. Nate, what do you got for us? She needs to go for a couple good shots. Pop his ass. You know what I'm saying? Ha! <laughs> Pop her up. Hold up. Find the jab. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no shit. Thank you, Nate Diaz. 
I believe I translated find the jab out of that incoherent nonsense. We tune in with Max Holloway on commentary tonight. Max Holloway. Uh, why do you think Casey O'Neill might need to bring the heat here in the third round to get her win? What do you think about that statement, Holloway? I am the heat, brother. I am the heat. Big drama show, baby. Need to go and boom, boom, make the knee. The knee. I am the heat. Sure, you're the heat, Max Holloway. Somebody get him his spoonful of mush and feed him his dinner through a straw. He has taken way too many good shots in his career so far. So what do you think about a potential comeback story here for Casey O'Neill, Brandon Moreno? Do you think she's ever going to find the KO? Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But I promise you, man, eventually she will find a shot to knock her out, man. She needs to put the pressure on and land the shot, man. I promise you. I've got 10 packets of Legos on this fight, man. My kids will starve if she loses. Thank you, Brandon Moreno. Hard to tell if that was you or Alexa Grasso. You sound like a 10-year-old girl. <laughs> Did somebody say 10-year-old girl? Somebody get Pat Barry away from commentary. There are kids in the front row. Who let him out of his cage? Get the straight jacket back on that absolute malevolent pedophile and put him back behind the scenes. He is not allowed anywhere near a child. Keep him away. We move on. Any chance Leon Edwards' is corner man can give us his hurt, his opinion for Casey O'Neill? Any last-ditch effort advice from the corner of Leon Edwards? Don't let him bully us, son! Don't let him bully us, Leon! We move on to another impression. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? Uh, I'm running out of ideas. Ta. Arnold Allen, what do you think? Actually, we go to Jeff Molina with seconds to go to tell us what he thinks about this contest tonight. Jeff Molina, you there? Jeff Molina, we are asking for your opinion. Jeff Molina, are you there? We are asking Jeff, we, Jeff Molina. We go to Jeff Molina's live feed to hear what he's doing instead of on the commentary booth. We're so sorry at home for the noises you just heard. We'll never tune in with that absolute demon again. The glizzy gladiator is done. Great fight. Anyway, no more impressions, please. I'm impressioned out. Thank you for the donos. Impression of Sean Strickland tasting Nate Diaz in the nuts. No. What the fuck? This is an all-time guru moment. It happens every pay-per-view nowadays. Thank you for the $5. Appreciate the $5. Hardest I've laughed all week. I appreciate that, man. Trump, <laughs> what you want? Casey O'Neill, I can't do it now. I've, I've done too many others. Darren Elkins, what a retard this guy is. I can't get it. I have to do it fresh for Trump. Thank you for the $2, bravo, no problem, dude. <clears throat> Volk, I didn't do Volk once. You're right, I didn't do Volk. I got a good pick there with Jennifer Meyer though, right? Easy win, baby. I'm on the rise. Desanya. Yeah, Desanya is actually who I was thinking of. 